In tonight's school patrol, it's all about the written, or in this case, printed word. We'll introduce you to a former teacher and bicycling enthusiast whose decision to introduce books to his students turned out to be a bigger and better opportunity for everyone involved. So we just we just want them to see that adults still ride bikes. We love it. It's fun. Hi. And we talk about the doors that are open just through reading. Not too far from Music Row. How many of you, this is your first delivery? More than 100 bicyclists gathered. Ride for reading. <laughs> all in the name of reading. Load up books, put as many as you can. That's a classic. Matthew Portell. During this week, we have people all over the country who are donating books via bicycle. Is the founder of Ride for Reading. I was a school teacher, fourth grade. I asked my kids to read. They responded with, Mr. Portell, we don't have any books. That's when Portell asked for help. I reached out to the cycling community and said, can you guys just donate some books for my classroom? Next thing I know, money is rolling in. We started a 501c3. We have 54 deliveries in 32 different cities and 16 states across the country this week. So not only did they fund the purchase of the books. We just want to get books to the kids and give them books to pick out for themselves and have fun with. Just the cool looking stuff. We're going to take some books to Napier Elementary, pass them out to the kids and read with them. The heaviest stuff is better. Many of them are biking those books directly to students. It's just a great opportunity for kids to have access to things that they don't always have, books. Check after picking, we have nearly 100 cyclists here who are ready to make a difference in our community. Looks like it's going to be a great book. And packing, giving children the opportunity to read. Let's ride, let's have a good time. And get books that they might not otherwise get. All right, guys, game on. It was time to put the pedals to the asphalt. It's about a 30 minute ride. There's over 3,000 books. They will all be carried via bike. And the students at Napier Elementary School are excited. Soon the cycling caravan <laughs> rolls into view. Even the mayor looks ready to read. And maybe ride. The whole idea, read more, ride more, encouraging kids to be active, whether it's riding a bike, whether it's running, whether it's walking, and then to read. Are you guys excited about getting books? Yeah! So today, everybody here, you'll get three books of your own to take home. And the search is on for those three special books. You get to pick any books you want. What, what do you see that looks good? You use reading with social studies, science, and every other subject area. I got these kinds of books. If you can read, you can just about make it through college, you can make it through high school, you can do anything you want if you can read. I have some. Look at mine. I like them. By the way, the Ride for Reading bicyclists will be stopping by the Fanny Battle Day Home on June 13th with another delivery of children's books.